And we're the Snarky Sisters. I'm Diana. And I'm Lisa. And here's our song for today. Our guests are Michelle Murray, Ron Goat, and Michelle Lockie. They're underneath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> it's the Sunday Songwriter Spotlight with Snarky Sisters, live at half past noon. Right here on our Facebook page, with our friends we will commune, and because we're Trotskyists, featuring Michelle Murray, Ron Goat, and Michelle Lockie, and some of their fabulous tunes. Well, it's a DC-centric show today. Our heads might just explode. Only one of the three guests is Mustachio. Ha-ha, Ron Goad. <laughs> and we have two Michelles. Would that be a binary code? Or overload? Right. Well, that's impossible. <laughs> the three of them are a DC musical. Motherload. <laughs> Yay! Whoa! We are so excited to have you guys here today. Woo! It's been a long time since we had a party. I know. Parties Should we put our masks on, Diana? Our masks? Our masks our, on. Our party masks? we're having masks? a party. Yeah. No. No, I'm not wearing a mask anymore. <laughs> I told you that. <laughs> no, I got, I, I got my shot. J&J, &J. how about you guys? Everybody? Yes. Got my second yes. vaccine yesterday. All right. Excellent. Ah, I'm inoculated. Yes. All right. So we don't need to wear our masks at this party. We're good. Okay, good. No, no. We're, we're mask free zone here. Thank the, goodness. The, the <laughs> we do have some drinks. Oh, yes. To toast. I've what do you two. have, Diana? I, I brought two. <laughs> Green light and red light. I've got a Michelle Mabellini. <laughs> and I've got a uh, Mr. Goad's Wild Ride. <laughs> oh, that is it. I've got Jose Cuervo. Whoa, kind of early in the morning. <laughs> it's the afternoon. Well, it's five o'clock somewhere. Oh, exactly. Right. All right, I, the two, 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 you, Michelle's, what, what y'all have? I've got blueberry iced tea, which may or may not be spiked. Probably not. Okay. And I have my coffee in my Nationals mug. All right, go Nats. <laughs> I just have mystery drink. We'll just put it that way. Well, that's okay. I have <laughs> a, a, a sauce, a sauce sarsaparilla, and it's a mask mocktail as well. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 to you. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Mm. So, Diana, why don't you read the first bio of our first guest? Okay. One secundi. See, she's getting Soft. all fancy. She's speaking Italian. From, <laughs> is that what playing it is? all those Very Renaissance fancy. things. It's medieval. It's medieval Italian. All right. Wow. Singer songwriter Michelle Murray. There you are, Michelle. Plays folk, bluegrass, and country, and is equally comfortable playing solo or in a band. Her most recent band is the bluegrass group No Part of Nothing. They played at the State Theater on Easter Sunday, and I think they have some things coming up. Weasel has said that she embeds her music with the soul-searching introspection of a consummate singer-songwriter. I think those, that, those have way too many syllables in those words. <laughs> many of her songs are signed to publishers and film and TV libraries, and she's had songs placed on MTV and the Lifetime Channel. She recently had a song placed on an episode of The Young and the Restless. She has released Why several are... EPs, Coming Home in 2015, this Life, My Life in 2018, In Your Warmth in January of this year, and this past week she dropped a new single, Home Away From Home, co-written with, with and produced by John Troop. She was in a duo with Michelle Lockie, I've heard of her, Blueberry called... Which may or may not... What? No, that was me. Oh, okay. Uh, she was in a duo with Michelle Lockie called Michelle Michelle, I think. Welcome, Michelle. Well, Welcome. thank you. Thank you for having me here today. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. I'm so happy that you're here. 
Yeah, Everyone looks it's, marvelous. It's, it's fun to be here. It's uh, I've got my CDs there in the background, it's, you know, kind of setting it all up. But uh, but yeah, I uh, I also want to mention I'm in a duo uh, with uh, Buck Stone called Murray and Stone, and uh, we're going to be playing soon. So just wanted to mention that as well. But I want to thank my colleague here, Michelle uh, Lockey, for th- she was the one that first got me into uh, music for film and TV. So if it hadn't been for her. None of this would have happened with the uh, Young and Restless and all that stuff. And by the way, I now watch that show. So if there's anybody that watches <laughs> the Young and Restless and wants to commiserate on the plot lines, let me know because I'm hooked on it now. It's pretty bad. Well, what's happening for those oh, of us who... Oh, well, Someone they're framing died. Adam and, and ah. Chelsea can speak again. It, it, and someone's it's a lot having of drama. an affair and someone's about to go in the hospital. Yeah, affairs okay. and... <laughs> breakups and then all that stuff <laughs> what lisa you're muted you're muted michelle I, ha- I haven't seen it over 20 years so um is there still a brad and lisa a brad no i don't think so I left i've only started show. watching it in the last couple of months so oh, okay um but yeah. who are some of the names like the top people not not the the actor names but like the character names do you remember oh uh jack abbott uh oh he's still alive victor <laughs> victor uh, you're kidding victor Vicky. must be 110 okay, okay. There, there was a I'm victor. sorry lisa I'm sorry and i will I talk asked. offline we'll, we'll talk sorry later. I we'll talk. Yeah. okay we will sorry i've created a monster <laughs> wasn't there a song for brad and lisa stop laura, luke and laura general Hospital. that was luke and laura yeah <laughs> Shoot. oh boy Okay, Michelle, Michelle, it's all your fault. It's Michelle Lockie's fault. <laughs> Just Michelle kidding. Murray, why don't you uh, sing a song? Tell us what we're going to hear. So I'm actually speaking of that. This actually segues into that. This is the song that was placed on the January 25th episode of uh, The Young and the Restless. And it's uh, it's the title track of my latest EP, In Your Warmth. And I wrote it with Scott Free, who is someone I met through the um, film TV world through Taxi, and he produced this. We co-wrote it. We do a lot of writing together for film TV. So I want to give Scott a shout out. And so anyway, uh, the song was inspired by just, you know, home and warmth. And my wonderful husband, Mike Murray, kind of inspired this. So I have to give him a shout out. And it's called In Your Warmth. I feel the warmth of your open arms Curling in our bed every night A candle burns, warms us with its light I'm so glad I have you in my life You make this home the place I want to be Love and safety and company Though we must go out into this crazy world I'm lucky to return to sanity So in your warmth is what I need for me You and I have our own little world We can always share our fantasies We talk and laugh out loud about silly things The two of us together can just be You make this home the place I want to be Love and safety and company Though we must go out into this crazy world I'm lucky to return to sanity So in your warmth is what I need for me
brings home the place I want to be. Love and safety and company. Though we must go out into this crazy world, I'm lucky to return to sanity. So when your warmth is what I need for me. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that was mighty pretty. Yeah. Thank you. But they, uh, Excellent. They, 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 it wasn't a very romantic scene it played under. They were they were kind of gossiping in the in the scene and it wasn't very lovey-dovey <laughs> stuff but whatever <laughs> yeah, that is so cool is um jimmy hendrix one of your uh, role models um i like jimmy hendrix i don't play guitar like jimmy hendrix but yeah i want to but um that actually uh we've had that jimmy hendrix for a long time and and so uh i wanted to kind of proudly display it it's like you know we actually need to hang it on the wall uh, but it's it's been here a while but i thought it'd make a nice background and, and i love it i love the picture of jimmy hendrix there so yes yeah, I, I used to listen to jimmy hendrix a lot so i'd say of people's backgrounds and i love I love people's backgrounds, and especially there's a guy who has a blog where he critiques people's backgrounds, especially talking heads on news shows. But uh -huh. um, I think Jimi Hendrix is is the most popular musician on people's walls uh, on this show. Oh, really? Very, yeah, it's very interesting. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. Wow. I didn't know that. Second That's only to uh, Hello Kitty. Oh, <laughs> so, so I am a cat person. Oh, good. good. Michelle, t tell us a little bit about what you've been doing uh, since the lockdown started. And I, I know that you're starting to stream and, and, and do that type of thing. Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that process, what it's been like to not be performing live. Yeah, you know, obviously I, I miss my bandmates and not performing live. Um, but yes, I did start to do Facebook live shows and learning more about Zoom and kind of and, you know, getting the whole setup and everything. But yeah, I've definitely ventured more into um, doing my little a lot of times on Saturday mornings, I'll do just a little Facebook live thing. Um, I've been a part of a couple of John Troop singer songwriter showcases that he's now done online. And I participate in some online open mics like Dan Mack does something. So um, even though we don't see each other in person, it's still like good to kind of wave to your friends and say hi. And, um, yeah. you know, and I've been doing more songwriting and more collaborating and new collaborations like the next song I'm, that we're going to talk about uh, that I I, I've known uh, John Troop for years. He he organizes singer songwriter showcases locally at, at uh, Out of the Way Cafe. But you know, so I've collaborated with new people and done some more stuff for film, TV, and um, you know, all those placements kind of came about like during the pandemic. So um, you know, so I've been keeping busy with that, even though and and doing some an occasional live performance now that the weather is getting better. A couple things coming up, but um, you know. Um, I have to say, I didn't mind hibernating this winter and watching a lot of Netflix and movies. And, you yeah. know. and I work from home now. I do my broadcasting thing at home. So I, I kind of enjoy the home time, you know, yeah. and, and being able to catch up on all the, the shows. But, you know, right. definitely miss seeing my, uh, you know, music friends. Yeah, well, it sounds like you're keeping positive. That's, yeah, I'm trying great. to. Yeah. 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 So t tell us about the next song you're going to play for us. Well, that actually relates to what we were just talking about, which is... Um, you know, missing your friends. And, you know, a lot of us, I think, uh, especially as musicians, can relate to a place that we go to regularly that becomes like your little music or just your home away from home where your friends are and you go there. And to us, it's like, uh, to me, it's like Out of the Way Cafe that inspired this. But it really could be any place you gather with your friends. And so John and I, you know, and Michelle Lockie has played a lot of shows at Out of the Way as well. And so that's what kind of inspired the idea for this song. And John and I collaborated on this, um, our first real collaboration together, which I'm excited about. We're now doing other collaborations. We just wrote a song with Haley Fahey, so the three of us are doing some stuff. Uh, and um, so this song just kind of has a special meaning to me. We just I just released it live on Spotify and Amazon and all the digital platforms. And it's on my new website, new and improvedly designed website, michellemariemusic.com. So it's called Home Away From Home. And like I said, it's available and uh, through my website, my Facebook. And 
So um, John produced the song and just did so much of that kind of work on it and helped help me write it. We co-wrote it, and he's wonderful. So it's called Home Away From Home, and hope you all enjoy it. I think, you know, through this pandemic, we could all relate to this. Just checking in How have you been? Remember all the trouble we got in At our favorite place I could see your face And now we're stuck at home and wishing We could get together Oh, how I miss you and our home away from home. Oh, how I miss you. Clicking on your name just ain't the same. So done and over this waiting game. Seems like forever. Can't wait to get together So close and yet so far away But we're getting closer Oh, how I miss you And our home away from home Oh, how I miss you Remember we could, remember we could be close to the heart and not so far apart we had it so good we had it so good we'll make it good again and then I'll shake your hand it'll feel so good oh how I miss you and our home away from home Oh, how I miss you Oh, how I miss you And our home away from home Oh, how I miss you And our home away from home Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's a very, very nice song. Really nice hook there. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, yeah it's, I like. Like that. I said, it's got a special place in my heart. The song really just kind of encapsulates everything we've been feeling over this last year. <laughs> so. Yeah. Well, that's really great. Um, Michelle, did you do you have a third song for us today? Oh, okay. Yeah. I, okay. Uh, sure. Uh, I think I'll do something from my. Um, my uh latest ep which you might be able to see right over there uh this life my life and um it's a song i do with my bluegrass band no part of nothing uh that version's a little more grassified with the banjo and all that fun stuff but um there's also a version of the song on my ep which was like the original version just got signed to a library recently and um all right. And it is uh, co-written with um, a songwriter I met through Taxi, the, which Michelle Lockie can talk more about, maybe. Uh, uh, but in any case, uh, named Michelle Leverett, and it's interesting, don't mind me tuning. Uh, I don't know if any of you have ever had the experience where you dream a lyric or, you know, something comes to you in a dream, and then you kind of just I, wake I had up. That, I had that dream. It was, I woke up and I said, mm -hmm. I've got this great song, and I went, yesterday all my troubles but didn't really it kind of backfired <laughs> oh no oh phone anyway uh okay that was interesting in any case uh so uh yeah so this song i kind of dreamt the line take my daddy's hand and that was like several years ago and then um 
I came up with um, just a little bit of music and the line, Take My Daddy's Hand, and Michelle Leverett, who is a wonderful lyricist, really literally came up with the rest of the lyrics, and I did the music. So that was an interesting process, and Scott Free had a hand in that, too. He produced it on the CD, and it's called uh, Take My Daddy's Hand, and I'm going to send this out to... Um, my my wonderful father-in-law who is um, sick right now he's not well but I'm and I'll also send it out to my wonderful father who's going to turn 90 in August if you can believe that and he's he's still sharp as ever so I'm very blessed so anyway it's called Daddy's Hand but try to picture a bluegrass band with it maybe <laughs> if Keith were here Keith Arneson who you've had on your show he'd be playing some banjo with it so. <laughs> Times are hard and getting tough. People all around are rough. When I need peace, I take my daddy's hand. All my debts are coming due. I'll have hope until I'm through. I hang on as I take my daddy's hand. My daddy's hand fights against the wind. Wrestles luck and always wins. Shoes away my fears on gloomy nights. His hands hold me, keep me warm, even through the raging storm. I just have to take my daddy's hand. My heart was crushed and on the floor as he headed out the door. Now I need to find my daddy's hand This house will never be the same Ain't no telling who's to blame But everything is fine in daddy's hand My daddy's hand fights against the wind Wrestles luck and always wins And shoes away my fears on gloomy nights his hands hold me, keep me warm, even through the raging storm. I just have to take my daddy's hand. I just have to take my daddy's hand. I just have to take my daddy's hand. Ah. Thank you. Really nice. Very Thank sweet. You. Thank you very much. Dedicated to all the wonderful fathers out there. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope that your uh, father-in-law is doing okay. It's, it's, Thank it's you very rough. much. Yeah. 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 Sending prayers. Let's all send prayers. Yes. So. Yes. Let's yeah. do. Thank you so much, Michelle Murray. We've really well, enjoyed having you today. Well, thank you guys so much for having me. It's an honor to be part of your show. Thank and you. We, we really like everyone to play three songs if we can. So um, if we go over, that's okay. It's not a network TV show, um, although it could be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so next up is Mr. Ron Goad, dear friend. Hi, wonderful everybody. Wonderful musician. Yeah. Hey there. So I get to read Ron's bio. <laughs> so Ron Goad. America's sweetheart has been a drummer. Well, does this make him a drumist? Hmm. Since 1961. And how old are you? Hmm. Okay, wait. Uh, he's on more than 75 albums. A retired teacher, he produces music shows and is the quintessential MC. That's very true. Ooh. Uh, he has served on the boards of several nonprofits and was president of the Songwriters Association of Washington. Whoops, over here, over for years. Vice president. Uh, ooh, okay. In charge, I was in charge of vice. And okay. focus, focus okay. too. <laughs> he has won uh, six whammies by the Washington Area Music Association. For Seven. Most, ooh. Who's ooh. counting? Ooh, who's counting? Who um, who needs to who needs to update their web page? Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when we pay straight. Uh, for the most supportive of Washington music, that's really wonderful. So when bands start playing out again, watch for the harried American road shows. Mm -hmm. 
described as smarty pants, loosey goosey, Americana fun with a DC twist, with topical original songs about politics and current events, 60s uh, song <laughs> sing along types, and new takes on old standards from the Great American Songbook. Welcome, Mr. Ron Goad. Well, thank you. And um, you were talking, Diana, about looking at people's backgrounds. You can tell from mine, I'm a collector of bowls and things like that, pottery. I realized that some years ago, and I got a shelf from Ikea to put many of my bowls on. And the seventh whammy is on top of the drum over there, the Balron. Uh, it's made a little different. But um, I'm on some whammy winning CDs as a drummer, and all that means is that when I left the studio, the engineers made sense out of all the banging and stuff <laughs> I did. You know, so my drumming didn't ruin those albums. So it's been a privilege for me to be part of this community uh, for decades. And um, I really enjoy our um, many different music nonprofits. I encourage musicians and music lovers, songwriters, and cover artists to get involved with as many of these nonprofits as possible. Sorry, I was muted there. So, um, Ron, uh, mm -hmm. you are a singer-songwriter. Of all the things, all the hats that you wear, you also write songs. So, we would love to hear you tell us a little bit about the song you're going to play us. Okay, and, uh, I've I've put very little emphasis on um, actually. Um, most years, I've concentrated on putting together shows and playing drums and washboard. Uh, but I have co-written and uh, written some songs I've written with uh, Emily Dickinson and dead poets uh, who really don't give you any trouble. I used to teach their poetry, and then when I retired after 30 years of teaching, I thought, you know, I could set some of their poetry to music. Ooh. So that's fun. Uh, I've co-written with uh, living songwriters, too, and I've written songs from uh, scratch. Uh, I really enjoy uh, this year... I've been playing guitar more, and for instance, this Tuesday, I plan to do a Michelle Murray song, Wandering Heart, for the Folk Club, and I'm also uh, preparing a Zoe Mulford song. So a thrust this year has been for me to take a lot of songs by friends of mine, where in many of them, I played drums and sang harmonies in the studio, and I'm learning how to play them on guitar to spread the word of my uh, talented friends. I have a Facebook page, Ron Goad Music, uh, that a lot of people don't know about, but um, there every now and then I post something as a sort of a tribute to the people who've hired me to play drums, uh, uh, something about the CD that I'm on. So uh, check out uh, facebook.com slash, which is really a virgule, Ron Goad Music. And uh, <laughs> this is, uh, uh, many years ago I, I, I wrote um, and, and co-wrote with Paula Monks and uh, did a lot of songs of hers, and she uh, was active back then. Uh, and here's one uh, that, um, that I co-wrote with her. Uh, it's kind of a country thing. I hope you like it. Ready? So sad, so insecure You're not one to reassure I can't take it anymore I'm falling, falling through Now's the time to make a break This whole damn thing was a big mistake I was just seeing how much I could take Now I'm falling Falling through Falling through The holes in the net under you Lost my grip on those slippery lips of you Falling through Paper thin promise of you I feel so scared And I know that there's No getting over you So won't you help me Help me please Give me what I need You're so free Unaware Seems to me you just don't care 
that I'm falling. Whoa, I'm falling. I'm falling. Falling through. Yeah. Nice. Isn't that sad? Yeah. So what do you and the two Michelles uh, have in common with trees? Well, you know, Barbara Walters is famous for her interview question. If you were a tree, what kind of tree would you like to be? Right. Right. So, um, well, I, what kind of tree are you? I'm um, a locust tree. We had, I also have a ginkgo tree and a dogwood tree. I have uh, ginkgos, my favorite leaves. They're fan-shaped. And pink dogwood we had in my yard in Front Royal when I was a kid. And last year, I finally got my own pink dogwood tree. So I love trees except on album covers. Uh, I've been crusading against trees on album covers. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. And besides that, they catch on fire. They fall on your house. They fall on the road. They they break power lines. They, you know, it's just terrible what trees do. So we've got to do something about you that. You know, when they're not flowering, do you know how you identify okay. dogwood trees? I I don't know. By their bark. Oh. Uh, Why? Are you driving me to drink? <laughs> What are you drinking there again, Ron? <laughs> well, that's water, but I have Jose okay. Cuervo, too. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we got to do a quick shout-out. Hey, Robbie. Hey, Les. Um, Robert and Barry, Adele, and Audra, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. So good to see you uh, returning to our show. But anyway, um, Ron, you, I love the song you just played. Um, I'm trying to think who you reminded me of, but after you do the next song, I'll tell you who you remind me of when you sing. Okay. Now, I've also... Um, this song is written uh, on, it's on uh, Greg Trafidlo's 2017 CD called The Crawl Space Tapes. And um, I started this song many years ago when I was watching one of those commercials on TV about being all you could be. And I thought, that's much too difficult. So um, instead of being all you can be, Maybe we should just settle for mediocrity. So um, this is Greg Trafidlo and, and Paula Monks once again, and I uh, have th different versions of this song. I uh, hope you uh, get a kick out of Mediocre. It all started, it all started, it all started as a little child. When the doctor told my parents I was born to be, born to be mild Never understood why it's good to be all you can be Like a sled dog in the center of the pack you know just what I see I'm a drone in life's beehive Out of ten, a perfect five Mediocre, it's my legacy I'm no prodigy, the die is cast middle middle class bringing up the rear music to my ear An average joe a status quo life is surely life is surely life is surely nothing like i planned i'm in the middle in the middle in the middle of each traffic jam just when i think i hold the key and finally i'm gonna rise above then I wake up in the morning, can't recall what I was thinking of. Success is just a one night stand in mediocre land. Mediocre stitching to my seams, coated in my jeans, always halfway there, like Delaware. It's a family crest tattooed on my chest, like Lawrence Welk. I'm powdered milk. In dreams I'm free, the world can see the me that they don't see. It would be sublime if just one time I was stalked by paparazzi. Till then, everybody sing along with my mediocre song. Mediocre, just a wannabe, a solid C. Also ran some generic brand It's my destiny All I'll ever be Not the better half That's my epitaph 
Can't undo it, can't unglue it, can't subdue it, can't eschew it, can't break through it. Why pursue it? Ah, screw it. Mediocre. <laughs> wow. That was a brilliant <laughs> version of a mediocre, super spectacular, spectacular. Like that mediocre ever, song. The best ever mediocre song I've ever heard. It was the best mediocre. And, and I just feel sorry for Delaware and Lawrence Welk. <laughs> Seriously, Delaware. Wow. You're heading into dangerous I had the hots territory. for Joanne Castle. You know, I really did. <laughs> No, that was great. Okay, the first song, you know what? You Vocally, you reminded me of Roy Orbison. That's who I was thinking. Oh, of. my goodness. Well, I want yeah. what you're drinking. Oh. Uh, Except yeah, I love, love Roy Orbison and Raul uh. Malo, too. Uh, he's got such a great voice. I told him, I said, you've got a great stentorian voice. Uh, remind me of Roy Orbison. He's stentorian. I'm going to remember that word as one of my... 10th grade vocabulary words that I taught exactly him. and I, I'm sure was it was your word a shoe in that song yes you don't come across that in a song very often no, no I, I, I eschew that that word right, and right I eschew, yeah. I eschew I, four I, syllable words just saying I wrote most of the phrases there but uh, Paula put them in uh, into order and then after I gave up after so much revising the song uh, she went to our friend Greg who um, is in Salem, Virginia, down near Roanoke, and he plays a lot with Tom Paxton. So um, a shout-out to Greg Trufidlow. Yeah, He's got a wonderful cool. version on the Crawl Space tapes. Yeah. So, Ron, do you have a third song for us? I know we kind of set you guys up for two, but we were mm. hoping to get a third. Okay, here's a little instrumental um, introduction I call uh, Another Hoedown. Mm. And... Um, and it goes into something from my friend George Wurzbach of Modern Man. I was living was merely a near-death experience I changed my story I finally saw where I was wasn't where it was at yeah now I'm alive I let destiny drive and I'm stretching out in the back and if I lose my job I'll sleep till noon if the news is bad I'll watch cartoons if my house burns down I'll have lots more room and a much better view of the moon do 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 in the vastness of space ever expanding universe we are all puny specks of galactic dust here on Mother Earth. I ain't no preacher, don't know if I'll reach you, but here is some humble advice. 
Use your uncommon sense and you surely will live an uncommonly sensible life. And if you lose your job, sleep till noon if the news is bad. Watch cartoons if your house burns down. You'll have lots more room and a much better view of the moon. Do -do 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 -do. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. That's great. That's a very, very fine song. Thank yeah, that's really fun. Really George good. Wurzbach. And Hot Soup also does it with Sue oh, Trainer. Really good. Really, it reminds really me of that song. song. Nobody knows it. It's an obscure musical song that Carol Burnett used to sing. Uh, um, you mustn't get discouraged. Um, oh. There's only one step further down you can go. And it talks about the Johnstown flood and all these things. It's like, hey... Things could be worse, hmm. you know. Huh. Hey, hey, Ron, tell us about what's happening with Mask this year, Inquiring Minds Want to Know. Well, instead of having an award show and special awards and live performances, um, President Jay Keating and Vice President Kelly Diamond and other leaders of SAW have been interviewing winners, not just gold, silver, finalists, honorable mention winners, too, talking to them. Uh, for um, some time about their songs and their songwriting process. And what we're finding is that each one is really interesting. Uh, most recently, I've interviewed Timothy White, who um, wrote, uh, there's a video called I Didn't Know About the Grim Reaper, I Didn't Know You Were Coming Today. Um, Barb Keeler wrote a really good song uh, called The Art of the Deal. You know what that's about. Mm. And uh, it's just been a delight to interview these people, like um, the, the duo that call themselves Annie Oakley, Sophia and Joe Babb. They just, uh, I interviewed them and talked about the name Annie Oakley, which they've had since they were 15, and now they've decided to change their name to Companion. So we've got a series of interviews uh, that, that are really uh, worthwhile, and there are all kinds of new categories, so it won't be long before the next contest is open. Good. When is it going to be this summer? Usually, when the contest yes. opens, yeah. Yes, and there are lyrics category, lyrics only. Our big poetry winner this year was Roderick D.C., the British guy in Frederick, who's a dear friend of mine. We do a lot of beat poetry together, and uh, there there were COVID songs and protest songs. So each year, a little uh, different. And um, if you have a song that didn't win one year, or you you can enter it again if you want. Yeah. Um, and and it's it's really cool because you can go to saw.org and you can hear all of the winning songs and you can see all the winning videos and the videos are incredible like our friend Woody LaSauer has a fantastic video so um, it's been an improvement we used to have a compilation CD each year a CD of the winners gold and silver but this is really better now because you can before people enter the contest and spend money doing it, I encourage them to go to saw.org and listen to some previous winners that can help them decide what to enter, if to enter, and which category to enter. Great. Thank you. And Ron, thank you so much. I mean, you are so talented. I mean, outside of all the other things that you do, you know, uh, you, you just are an amazing singer. You're a really good guitar player. You just, uh, you're such a delight. Thank you so much for being on our show today. Very, very kind of you to have me. It's been uh, kind of scary because, you know, people talk about their comfort zone, and this is more like uh, way beyond my usual comfort station. Well, you're very brave to play the guitar. You did very a great job. Yeah. Yay. Well, nice thank job. you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy to be here, and having all of you four friends of mine here uh, is just quite an honor and a privilege so oh, let's move you. on to michelle Milwaukee. and <laughs> and i'd like to tell everyone who's watching please share because that makes a difference and i don't think we could get everyone's venmo and paypal's up lisa's going to do that after the show because of facebook thanks facebook again yeah. and uh <laughs> and go to their websites everyone's website uh, michelle lucky music.com is that right this and michelle, michelle lucky .com. MichelleLockie.com. You're lucky. Someone else got DianaQuinn.com. I don't know. Some uh -oh. race car driver. Michelle, um, 
murraymusic.com. Ron, what's yours? Ron Goad? Well, I, I'm not using rongoadmusic.com anymore, but I really like facebook.com slash rongoadmusic. So check it out. It's a fun little adventure. It's not all about me. It's about the people who've hired me to be on their CDs. Or not, but not slash Vergul. Thank you. Right, we we like right? that. We're we're okay. into punk. We put the punk into punctuation, don't we? <laughs> exactly. And I think we're gonna we're gonna spill over past one thirty anyway. So um, I, I have some more questions for everyone. We can just have a little chat if you don't mind. If no one has any place to go, <laughs> Michelle Locky is a hey. multi award winning <laughs> singer songwriter, TV composer, owner of Licensing Songs Academy and Hullabaloo Studios. One of her greatest accomplishments so far has been winning the grand prize in the folk category of the 2013 John Lennon Song Contest for the song Your Footprints. Michelle has released six albums and many singles, two of which were released by Black Toast Records. Her high profile TV placements continue to rack up on shows including Amazon Prime's Good Girls Revolt, A&E's Tiny House Nation, Young Sheldon, The Voice, Hallmark's Channel's Hope at Christmas, The CW's Rain, and The Originals, The Fosters, and Longmire. I loved Longmire. <laughs> she also wrote the theme song to MAVTV's Gearheads. She's built her own home studio, and we have a lot of questions for you. Welcome, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Wow, fa fabulous! And you came into this sort of not uh, not from the age of five or twelve, right? Right. It was um, probably about ten years ago when I started playing. Well, I, I guess I did my first album in two thousand nine, and then uh, learned ukulele, guitar, and I had been playing piano, but I didn't really know like chords. Um, <laughs> which uh you know classical piano when i was younger and so learned all that since 2011. I had a lot of help from saw and the community there um in performance wise to get the courage to like go up there and do things <laughs> so it's it's been a really good uh community of encouragement that's for sure i love your t-shirt be <laughs> courageous yes that is yep. uh from my album Courageous Me, which came out in 2019, and we were supposed to have a concert in March of 2020, and guess what happened? Yeah. <laughs> so I've got all these t-shirts <laughs> and albums uh, and a book well, that goes with it. <laughs> you'll have you'll have a chance, I, yes. I hope, really soon. I, I'm optimistic. Yeah. Unlike uh, Ron's song, of, uh, we're not going to burn the house down, but we'll, <laughs> we'll have a place. We'll, we'll all go see you, too. Let us yes, all know. Yes, please. I will. Please. Whenever we can yeah, do it, we will. <laughs> all right. So tell us what you're going to play for us. Please. Um, I'm going to play uh, two songs from the album, and then um, I haven't quite decided on the third, so we'll just decide when I get there. <laughs> so Great. This, so, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. This first song... Um, so what does my heart say, which is not the album. And it's just about, um, you know, just, I guess, trying for those uh, dreams, things you're going for and just realize how freaking hard it is. And, you know, part of you wants to quit and part of you doesn't. So this is called, uh, what, what does my heart say? Turned around too many times 
Michelle, what have you been up to the last, you know, this last year? Have you been able to perform uh, out at all or like the rest of us basically streaming? No, I, yeah, I haven't really done much. Um, just streaming. Uh, the job I have, we were considered essential workers. So, so for about six months, it was like, you know, 10 to 12 hour work days. And this is, you know, we thought at that time it was going to be a six six week lockdown. <laughs> Here we are, you know, still restricted. Know. Um, so it was pretty stressful. And then I, there was one song I was trying to, to write and produce myself. And it was really kind of about being, I don't know, stuck in that one. It took me like six months of just fiddling with it before I finally push it out to the world. But I really haven't done any performing. I might have done a showcase or two online, I think. Um, and you know, whatever, that's fine. I'm tired a lot. So, yeah, I, yeah. You know, so. but I, I love your background, I have to say. It's yeah. just <laughs> <laughs> looks very familiar to someone else's background. It sure does. <laughs> no, you sound great. Yeah. Thank um, you. So, so do you just, um, do you have a USB mic or what are you using right now? Yeah, this one is just a buff, like a buffalo blue. It's just a, a blue, <laughs> uh -huh. a blue microphone. Um, yeah, USB. Great. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Bef behind the curtain, I have a, my wizard curtain. I have a full studio set up back there. I just don't connect that to Zoom very much. So the USB, just plug and play and go. It's wow. fun. Wow. <laughs> well, it sounds like you're a very self-motivated person. You play many instruments. You're work. You have your own home studio. It's a lot. It's a lot yeah. of stuff. It's and you're a singer songwriter. So, but that yes. was a lovely song. Really Thank nice. You. Appreciate Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. So what would you like to play for us next? Um, so this is the, there'll be the title track off the album, which again, I'll just show everybody. This is available online. Courageous Me. It's got trees in there, just like Ron Goad likes. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> but they're cartoon trees. Well, so. what I mean is uh, the covers that have trees instead of the oh, artist. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. so okay to have trees and the artist. Ron, what okay. what instrument do um, trees play? Oh, no. What instruments do trees like to play? Woodwinds. Ah. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. I'm gonna mute you, Diana. You're muted. <laughs> <laughs> You're cut off. Woodwinds. What? I get it. Oh. You're cut off. Yeah. I got a million of them. What oh. famous model used to play trees? Twiggy. Oh, I'm going to meet do, you too. Why do trees hate riddles so much? 
Why? Because they don't like to get stumped. <laughs> but oh they do my. like Roots music. They do. <laughs> and they like to drink root beer. Your next right, showcase is going to have to be jokes. Sorry. I think I think we better let Michelle. Yes, uh, Michelle, please play. Now. Michelle, please save us right. from this. Please. All right. I will. I will. Tell us All what right. you're going to play. <laughs> this is uh, Courageous Me, the title check off my album. All right. And that album was self produced. Like I mixed everything, mastered it, wrote all the songs except for one, so, or two, I forget. Okay. There are walls that hide my darkness and tragedies not forgotten. I won't lose my mind if I'm safe inside. Some disguise, not living life, not living life. But can I take a step to break those chains? Cause he's not finished with me yet. No, not finished with me yet. I'm not completed, won't be defeated. I'll be courageous, courageous me I'll clean the messes I won't be less than I'll be courageous, courageous me I've got to reach for that chance to take a step, walk from my grave, cause he's not finished with me yet, he's not finished with me yet, I'm not completed, won't be defeated, I'll be Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, really good. You're so enchanting. Your voice is so so beautiful. Thank really. you. I appreciate that. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, now we're all feeling positive. Your last song better be <laughs> Don't don't bring us down, baby. This is <laughs> No, I won't. I won't. Yeah, this was really great. 
Um, yeah, tell us what you'd like to play for us next. Yes, this song um, is called With a Whisper, and it, we originally wrote it back when that huge Oklahoma tornado went through. Well, I forget what year that was, 2013, 14. Um, Try to raise some money for that. And then I recently kind of re-released it and did a like a picture and lyric video just because this year has been so awful and yeah. just political turmoil, turmoil, the whole George Floyd thing. And uh, it just, yeah. you know, it just really. Um, and then on top of that coronavirus and just all the, the division yeah. and, you know, I'm just like, man, we need some hope and some prayers. And um, so this song is kind of... Uh, about that you know just being there for each other and nice and whatnot i might have put this on the saw thing i forget with the videos but ron you know thanks to that whole thing it did inspire me to make a video to an old song like a funny one called i forgot how to write a song which we'll have to do that next time but <laughs> anyway here's with the whisper
Ease. My wig fell off. <laughs> Need a longer cord. <laughs> <laughs> that was really great. Fabulous. Thank you. Fabulous, fabulous. You can see why you have so many placements. These are really great. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. So you, you say you work, you have a home studio. Do you, um, do you send your stuff to other people for like final, like mastering and stuff, or do you do all um, of that yourself? It just depends on the song. So the, um, the song I released over the summer, Dust and Ashes, which is really a sad song, by the way. Um, I, so I wrote it all and my original goal was to like play, you know, all the instruments and everything, but, um, I'm not so good with keeping time and recordings sometimes. So, uh, I had a friend of mine do the guitar. He sent me that part and another friend do the synths. Um, and then I added some stuff in there and mixed it and mastered it myself. Wow. And I got it signed to a publisher and this publisher, he, he's hard to, you know, get things signed to. So that was a pretty big goal of mine to be able to, to write, mix and master something that was signed to this guy. Awesome. Um, but other times, you know, it just depends on the song. It's like uh, I'll start something out, and then I'll send it to somebody else to um, to tweak with arrangement wise, and they'll send me something back. It's like, well, why don't we try this? And uh, that's pretty much how most of my stuff is done. And then the people I write with, at least one person in the team will be like the producer. So I always work with people that can produce because it saves money and time. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you can do it. You know, people all over the world that way. So it's uh, a good way to collaborate. Well, what are you working on right now? I, what am I working on right now? I am working on, um, well, well, I am working on a new song. It was, a, and it was just something uh, that I started from a um, songwriting course. I took uh, Brian Tedder as a songwriting course and uh, kind of has a little bit different te technique in writing. So I'm trying to work on finishing that. Um, and then I'm releasing a bunch of songs that were written years ago that just been sitting in a publisher and a few of them got in placements, but others are sitting there and I really like the music. And so I'm just, I was releasing like one song every few weeks and then I'm going to uh, send out an album of those songs. And there's a few more of that to just have something out there while I think yeah. about whether I want to do a new album before I get to do my concert for my other album. So that's what I'm doing now. Yeah. Well, things really have changed, you know, from the idea of doing, you know, 13 song albums to, yeah. you know, then the advice, at least a year ago, there were, you know, was just send each song out, just get one song out at a time. Yeah. And, or, or take a song and do different, uh, like an acoustic version of it. Right. And then, yeah. Or a YouTube video of it. You know, there's just so much, so much to sort of absorb, you know. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. The music business has definitely changed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Your songs are sure. so beautiful. And thank really, you. it was very, really wonderful to have you here, to have Michelle Murray here, have Ron Goat here. This has been a great, great day. Thank you so much for coming. And thank you for everyone for listening. Michelle, what's your day job? To give us a little, uh, a soupçon of it. This Michelle? No, Michelle, Michelle M. M. Oh, yes. okay. Um, I actually uh, do traffic on the radio. I work for iHeartMedia, Total Traffic Network. And so you can hear me in the afternoons on some of those iHeart stations like Big 100 and all that. I do the afternoon rush hour on we every other weekend. It used to be every weekend, thank goodness. Just every other weekend now I'm on WBIL and WMAL doing my traffic reporting on uh, every other Saturday. So um, give us, I give us a little Give us a little sample. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a huge, you know, three yeah. trucks, traffic you on know. the Bellway on the Legion Bridge is bumper to bumper right now due to an accident with an overturned tractor trailer. Yeah, it's my favorite is the overturned tractor trailer with a fuel spill. So. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I like the ones where, uh, you know, thousands of golf balls have uh, have. Uh, run have been ex exploding on this on the road or the porto potty <laughs> falls off the truck or exactly <laughs> or a million dollars from a brinks right. truck yeah that, 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 that has that. happened that, wow yeah <laughs> wow that could cause even more problems yes but uh and then i also do can i just mention really quickly that yeah. i do uh show on bluegrass country radio uh monday through thursday uh six to seven um on bluegrasscountry.org and i get to do what you guys do is i sometimes interview other people i haven't put it on zoom yet but i do it on on the air but 
maybe I'll pick your brains off there to see maybe do uh. something like this. But anyway, so I've gotten to interview some cool bluegrass artists on my show, and so it's fun to put together that show, uh, uh, you know, which is totally different than traffic. It's more fun because it's music. But yeah. so I do a lot of broadcasting right from this room here, which um, probably needs more soundproofing, although I have stuff on the windows but actually the sound here is fine so uh but michelle uh, i'm sure has a much more professionally looking studio <laughs> setup than, than i do but but i've got this good enough so that it works well with radio and and what i need to do here so yeah so i'm in this room a lot doing my radio thing so great yeah. and ron you have a new music project right it's your genetically your genetically defective band. Whoops. <laughs> well, it's the all new genetically altered jug band is a quartet <laughs> that's been together for many, many years. In fact, in 2004, uh, we won uh, NPR's uh, Cicada Song Contest with Cicada. our Cicada song. Wow. What I want to know is where cicadas go when their love song is no more. Some folks <laughs> say they go into rehab, others say they go out for a smoke. When old Red Eyes croons his love song, those nymphs just scream and croak. So we're revising that song. Same quartet is together 17 years later. So we <laughs> remembered, hey, we did a cicada song. And Dr. Demento has been working with us uh, since uh, last summer, uh, mixing and mastering our crazy songs for his show. A lot of people don't know he's still alive and kicking. Yeah. Barry Hansen is Dr. Demento's real name. He's 80 years old, and he uh, loves my crazy jug band. <laughs> but he makes our songs go faster, so they go down easier, I guess. Um, so uh, the jug band, uh, we've been meeting on, on somebody's deck. It's Bags Howard in uh, Edgewater. He plays trumpet. Uh, Gut Bucketeer Jim Bunch on the wash tub bass. Uh, and, and Alan Oreski is a new guy in my band who's also in one of Michelle's bands. Yeah. Uh, right. So uh, we also have Special Ed Light on banjo, guitar, kazoo, and all kinds of things. So we've been a solid quartet for a long time, and we have an album called It's Alive. <laughs> There's only thing. one thing wrong with Ron Goad's band. <laughs> What's that? It's a lie. Yeah. Well, well, people in the washboard community know me as Scratchy. Right. And they uh, so all they know is that I'm the washboard guy, Scratchy. So that's fun. <laughs> well, great. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you, yes. everyone, for thank being you. here. Wait, wait. What about Michelle Lockie's day job? I want to know. <laughs> Well, I could tell you, but I'd have to kill you. <laughs> so I, we do, uh, we basically manage web web conferences for um, companies, Fortune 500 companies, certain areas of the government. So basically, if they want to have a Zoom or a WebEx, they use our services. We have like dedicated servers and we've got um, event producers like myself, which will get on to do introductions, make sure everybody looks and sounds good, that there are no technical issues, um, things like that. So yeah, and right now we're like three weeks at home and then three weeks in the office rotation. What good national secrets can you tell us? Uh, you know, that's, I, I, I'm i not at liberty to say, because seriously, there could be I some know. problems. <laughs> I know. Uh-oh. <laughs> if you ever see me pack up and leave town real quick, then maybe take that as a sign. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Courageous. <laughs> oh. <Yay>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys were great. We had so much fun and we could sit here and talk forever, but we do have to wrap up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you guys so much. Thank you for having thank us. You, thank you. Oh, we really enjoyed Every, it. We can just sign off to the crowd, to everybody watching, yep. and then we'll yep. just stay on y'all. Okay. All right. I Bye, everybody. Just everybody. Everybody watching Everyone. next week, we've got Meredith. We've got Craig Ventresco and Meredith Axelrod. That's fabulous right. ragtime early yeah. 1910 specialists. So tune in next week, 1230. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.